What's going on guys? World Watch Else back again with an OG for you guys. I hope you all having a lovely day slash evening. Every single day I bring you guys the latest Chelsea gossip in the last 12 hours. News in, news out. I uh, bring it together, give my opinions and then I ask for your opinion. So guys, yesterday I asked for 300 likes. We absolutely smashed it. We got about 750 or more. I'm going to ask for another 300 likes. So please do smash the like button to help this channel grow. Subscribe if you're new here. Hit the notification. Tune in daily and comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic i speak about okay i just want to thank everyone again uh, for tuning in supporting the channel commenting liking everything because the channel keeps growing consistently and i did say yesterday that youtube doesn't tell everyone every single time when i go and upload a video so please look out for the channel every single day search for it look up my social media and always stay tuned because i look forward to all your opinions okay the first topic i'm going to speak about is declan rice yesterday i said that official bid 50 million pounds from sky italia Angelo, um, apparently reports came out immediately after that from West Ham fans, West Ham reports, Sky Sports saying that West Ham have not been offered this money, um, it's not true, etc. And of course, when the news first came out about Declan Rice, it was trending, there was over 200,000 tweets about this 50 million. Um, some people are saying that Angelo meant that there's going to be a first official bid very soon of 50 million pounds. To me, when I looked at it, it looked like straight up Angela saying 50 million pounds has been bidded that is the first official fee and i'm going to tell you why this deal is going to happen very very soon um i just want to say that mason mount i know it's just an instagram like okay but when uh sport bible posted a picture of declan rice and the caption saying 50 million pound bid for the player to chelsea mason mount liked the photo and you guys probably think it's just a like okay but what if the caption said something bad and he liked it every single one of you that will probably call it out let's be realistic if it said something negative and he liked it you'd be like why is he like it so it's the same thing with this one that i'm seeing i think there's legs to the story 100 percent even if there hasn't been an official bid it's gonna come okay i'm telling you this now it's gonna come and the reason why it's gonna come is because sport witness have announced something very very vital for everyone remember the striker harla they have installments to be paying for this player's transfer okay and according to this report, they've missed the second instalment, which means the club is in danger. The club needs funds and the club need to make quick sales. And what does that mean? You know, who's the hottest prospect they have right now that's on sale? Declan Rice, my friends, okay? Chelsea can bid around 50 million. They can probably bully West Ham and bring it down to 45, 40 million pounds if they really want to, if West Ham need that money. So trust me, there is serious legs on this topic. Um, it is a bit surprising to see West Ham fans, West Ham reports come out straight away saying that there's no bid officially. He has been chilling with Chelsea friends, of course, but then there was also West Ham fans. So I'm not going to be biased and say, yeah, everything's about Chelsea, 100%. Um, he's leaning towards Chelsea, he wants to leave West Ham. I'm sure he does want to leave West Ham and he does want to join Chelsea. He has so much love for Chelsea, but we have to be realistic. When, he, when they all went out on that night, there were West Ham players, West Ham friends as well with Declan Rice. It just wasn't Chelsea, so we have to put that out there very clear. Um, he does respect West Ham as well, but hopefully the two clubs come together and sort out this deal. Now, David Orstein on his podcast was saying the valuation is around 65 to 70 million pounds on, according to his sources, okay? So as I said, I'm gonna report on every single little thing around these stories to make sure all of you are aware about what everyone's saying. Um, Christian Falk on Kai Havertz has come out. It's a timeline for Kai Havertz poker. Kai Havertz has two weeks vacation. On Friday 28th of August, his club by Leverkusen will start a corona test in the afternoon. It will be good for Chelsea to finish the stage at this talk before this all happens. So basically, we have about two weeks to get this deal sorted. It should be done in the next few days. I know we keep saying next few days, next few days, next few days. We just have to get the three sorted. Some people are saying 60 million plus add-ons, some people are saying 70 million plus add-ons, some people are saying 80 plus million plus add-ons. Plus, yeah, that, makes, that doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean, 8 million plus add-ons of course. So we're just waiting for that deal. We know Kai Havertz is definitely going to leave. We know the manager has been basically admitting that he'll leave, he'll play for a different club. That refers to Chelsea, um, as I said in my last video, amazing. Um, Fabrizio Romano on the pod saved the ball said that Chelsea feel like Kai Havertz wants to play on the front line pod and with new signing Timo Werner. He, uh, Fabrizio Romano also goes on to say Kai Havertz wants Chelsea and, play, and wants to play in the Champions League. Chelsea are confident and have, have a strong agreement between the player. The next days will be key. Chelsea are looking at a left back and a goalkeeper 
but they want to see Havertz first to see the actual budget for us to be spending. Now, I do have some bad news to tell you guys now. Um, Sergio, I'm not going to pronounce his surname because every single one of you in the comments keep correcting me. Like, I listen to one guy, I say it like that, you lot correct me. I say it like you lot, then the next people will correct me. And you know what? I was going to say Sergio, okay? The left back that played for Seville, uh, best left back voted does best left back in La Liga, uh, one of the best left backs maybe this season overall when you're looking at Europe. Going back to Real Madrid, Real Madrid want to make that sell. And we have further confirmation from Angelo Sky Italia saying Napoli have agreed personal terms with this player already and now they just need to sort out a fee. So it looks like Chelsea are sticking to Ben Chilwell. I don't even think Tagliafico is even being considered right now. I know reports are saying Sky Sports are saying Tagliafico, Ben Chilwell, Sergio, Alex Tellez. Every single month there's a different player that we're linked with in this position. Now Sergio was someone that I was really, really rooting for because he was that potential to do that both jobs attacking and defending and he's young and basically being that good in La Liga he should be able to you know do well in the Premier League which is worth the risk in today's world with a value of 18 million pounds or even a loan deal it would have made sense but unfortunately it looks like he'll he'll be going to Napoli that's what I've been hearing yesterday if we get any further updates I'll keep you guys up to date but right now it looks like Ben Chilwell ladies and gentlemen um, I know some of you guys won't be happy, but as I said, we have to bank, bank, back Frank Lampard and make sure um, you know we support what the man wants for the future of the squad. You know we're rebuilding the entire team. Many Deadwood are leaving. We need to be positive. And Ben Chilwell has a Premier League experience. Ashley Cole, our best left back, best left back in the Premier League ever, is basically telling you this guy is good enough for Chelsea of course okay so we need to take their opinions over our opinions basically but as I said we must sign this player if it's under 50 million pounds if it's over 50 million pounds we have paid for an overpriced player okay because some people are saying that I don't mention he's overpriced of course I know he's overpriced because I'm telling you we shouldn't spend more than 50 million pounds on this player so hopefully that makes it very clear now very very interesting news Bakyoko 3 million uh, euros loan deal to Ace Milan plus 35 million euros permanent fee as an option to buy. Okay, it's not mandatory, it's option to buy. This is the first talks that have happened between Ace Milan and Chelsea. I do not expect Chelsea to accept this deal because it looks like, you know, yeah, they might pay the 3 million uh, loan deal, but then they can just say no after the season and be like, we want to pay a lot less money now. I believe if we make about 20 million pounds, we can make at least a few million pounds profit on this player after all the loan fees and wages that have been taken off in the last couple of years with doing all the costs. If we were to sell this player for around 20 million pounds, then we should be able to make a few million pounds profit on the player. If I'm wrong, please do correct me and give me your figures so I can correct myself. But from what I've tried to calculate and understand, I see a few million pounds if we see um, a 20 million uh, bid basically go through which is what I was expecting I did not expect anything like 35 or 30 million pounds so we shall see what happens um, and also Inter Milan and Atletico Madrid are interested in Marcos Alonso now Marcos Alonso has been linked with these two clubs in the last year or two in fact okay Conte is a big fan of Marcos Alonso Atletico Madrid have always wanted Marcos Alonso in the last year even under Sarri in fact okay now as I said Emerson is someone that I expect to see going um, he did okay last game against Bayern Munich in terms of offensively like he was attacking he was shooting but defensively he was out of position he was known to be seen and he let us down many times and I feel like Frank Lampard just wants to get rid of all these players okay I still need to do a transfer in and out video a new squad and explain why basically but right now I'm giving you all the latest Chelsea gossip so let me know your thoughts on Kai Havertz, Declan Rice, Sergio or Ben Chilwell Unfortunately, it is going to be ventural, but I do support what Frank Lampard and Ashley Cole are going to be doing at this club. So, hopefully, everyone jumps on the train. And also, let me know your thoughts on Bakayoko, Marcos Alonso. And there's going to be a lot more topics to be speaking about very, very soon. But as I said, I just want to thank you guys again for the support. It's It's been amazing, honestly. I think I've gained about 1.4k subscribers in the last 28 days, which is absolutely immense, man. I'm telling you this now because I'm hoping to hit 15k subscribers very soon. I was struggling at 12, 13, but now this channel is just growing every single day. It's all down to 
to all of you guys. So thank you all. Um, please do smash the like button, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily, and comment down below your thoughts and opinions, guys. Well, watch out, guys. I'm out. Peace.